Today I'm making a video on replacement blades. This is uh, part of my collection. Uh, some of these are pro stocks, some are NHL game used, some are retail. Got a little bit of everything. Uh, first one here is autographed to Pat LaFontaine. So I got this one in a, when I bought one piece to, uh, blade and shaft and I pulled them out and I kept the shafts. So this is uh, autographed by Jason Daw. He played for Buffalo, so that's his curve. And it looks like that. To Patty, says. That's his. And uh, next one is an innovative. This is a Murray curve. You can see it's pretty straight. It's got a little open face. This is an older innovative. Innovative uh, switch to becoming Warrior. And the tape has been there. I haven't touched this. Uh, none of these I've used. I just have um, collect. And uh, this one is made, uh, this is made for Greg Adams, Phoenix Coyotes. That's his blade. It's got a nice heel curve. And uh, it's been taped by him and removed. It's autographed by him. So a lot of wear on this one. And the next one's a coho. Uh, this is a retail. I believe it's a retail. I'm not even sure. That's uh, all of them have like an open face so far. It's got a little bit of graphite, a little bit of composite, and it's a standard blade. That's how the curve looks. A lot of paint chips, and uh, got a. I believe that's a warrior. It's got an open face, square toe. And uh, the next one is a uh, Eastern Focus Flex. And this is an original Focus Flex. Has a Iserman curve. So Iserman curve looks like that. The next one I made a video earlier on. It's in another video by itself. This is the Ovechkin curve called the Kremlin. And has a lot of gloss, has a lot of curve. And this one is a tapered blade and a rounded toe. It's a really nice curve. That's how it looks. So on the next one, is a old wooden Shanahan, Brendan Shanahan. So when you see a name on the stick and it's a retail, usually I believe the players get um, a percentage. When we buy the sticks, the retail, where they get a percentage. So the tape doesn't come off this and uh, has a lot of wear. And the next one I got is another Warrior. This one's been cracked. And I got a Co. This is uh, Jonas Hoagland, Toronto Maple Leafs. That's his game used stick blade that's how it looks coho there's his name stamped he taped it that's how he taped it so the next one i got is a ccm pro stock wood blade this looks like it's been shaved down and the uh, name's rainville don't know if that's a nickname or never heard of him that's a ccm Looks like it's been shaved down. And Coho and CCM and Titan and uh, Canadian are all like one company. So they have one company that makes the sticks for everybody. Here's a uh, Christian, my favorite Christian blades. Patrick Karnback, this uh, game used stick by him. Tape's been ripped, but uh, that's the curve. Puckmaster. These were the original Christian blades. Christian made awesome blades. Everybody used Christian blades. Brad Hall, Fedorov, Robitaille, everybody. They were great. Here's a Warrior Pro Stock Litstrom Curve. This one's really nice. Here's a Litstrom Curve. Litstrom's from Easton Curve. And look at the checkered pattern. That's awesome. It's my favorite kind of pattern on the blades right here. Square toe. See here, the blue one here is a Mark Recchi CCM. 
That's a Mark Recchi right there. And what else we got? We got a uh, Bouchard. This is, I believe, a Bauer tapered wood blade. Yeah, that's a Bouchard curve. Tape's old. So over here, I got a Darren Turcott Easton Pro Stock Curve. This is looks like it's been dried out, uh, faded. This one's got an emulsive base. It's a graphite CCM. Tape's been ripped to shredded. And that's the pattern is an Ovechkin. But it's nothing like the real Ovechkin, as we know. This probably makes money when we buy it. Every time we buy a stick, they get a percentage. That's how they operate. The next one I got is a Bauer Wendell Clark. This one here is in poor shape. And that's a Wendell Clark pattern. Bauer. Next one's a Titan. Oh, these are good for street hockey and roller hockey. They got the ABS plastic on the bottom painted black and that's the curve right there ASD 2000 made in Finland next one here is a Drake Barahowski this is a game used blade uh, when he was with Nashville there says Nashville right there tape by him this is he used it in the game practice not sure Louisville. So you, Louisville made blades. And uh, the next one here is a Jason Moore. Phoenix Coyotes. That's Jason Moore. That's his pattern. It's been taped by him. This is a game used stick by him. Autographed right there. And the uh, next one here is a Fitzpatrick. So this one's unusual because he has no tape. It's just like a rubber a sticker that they use, like has grip. And this is something that they use in roller hockey. I like the black Eastons, those are awesome. And uh, put on both sides. It usually says underneath this, says Custom Pro. Made in Canada. Precision fit blades, these are awesome. The next one is a Coho, and I bent this one myself. Kind of match an Ovechkin curve without looking at it. I came pretty close. So that's what I did, and uh, it bubbled a little bit right there. And this is a Mario Lemieux blade, but not really a Mario Lemieux game used or anything. It's a retail blade. That's how it looks, coho. And the next one's a old Bauer, like probably from the original Bauer, maybe early 90s. So this is what they used to have. <laughs> Nothing good. Pretty straight. It's a P33. I don't know if the P33 is supposed to look like that or not. I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with Bauer blades at all, so don't know. Here's an Ovechkin blade again, like the CCM, the other CCM, the same curve, just a retail standard. This is standard blade. Here's a uh, Louisville Lockjaw. So that's a just a worn down blade. But if you look right here, they have a, a screw in there that when you take a tool like a hex tool and you could tighten the blade and you do it through there. If you can see that the holes right there, kind of looks like a cabinet work, but they have a split in the middle and this didn't was not popular. It didn't take off. So obviously they had it for about a year and then just wasn't popular. Nobody wanted to handle it. A tool to the stick. You better put glue and tape would be better. Right, here's my favorite Christians. This one's a darker compared to the other one that I'm going to be showing you because uh, they put an extra uh, lacquer on it as it's tapered. Don't know what the pattern is, but it's uh, it's shorter up here. It's not too long. And that's the blade pattern. And here's another Christian. This is used by Mark Grigg. 
This is a uh, original Christian, so it's a different, little bit different than the other one. This is the older model. And that's how they used to look. I said, these are the blades that I used to use. I had my own pattern with Christian, and you can see he heated up with a torch. You can see the burn marks. So this was used by him, Mark Gregg. Never seen this guy play, so I don't know. I knew he played for Hartford. I just don't know anything about him. Uh, this is an innovative blade, an original one. It had no logos. This is like a test blade that they came out with. And that's a curve. Don't know whose curve it is. Oh, this has never been used, but look at the gloss. Not much gloss. Nothing fancy about this. Just very basic. Uh, graphite blades came out in 1998. Ferrara was the first one to tell me about them. In 1998, uh, I think just a handful of guys were getting graphite blades. At the time, it was like $10,000 to make a mold. And Easton was the first one to do graphite blades. You know, this is just a street hockey blade right here. So by 2000, more companies started making graphite blades. Innovators started doing it. But before, nine, like 1998, that winter, that was the first time they, uh, that graphite blades came out for like Paul Korea. Certain players only got them. The rest of the NHL was still using wood blades. This is an old Easton, I think it's an RB100, no, RB300. This is really chewed up. And, uh, yeah, so that's how it happened. Everybody was using wood. And then once I tried a graphite blade the first time, it was around 2000, and it felt very different. Just come, trying to get used to it was a completely different feel. I'm using wood sticks all my life, and then switching was, uh, it was hard. But then it was no, you know, you got used to the blades. There wasn't many patterns around, so just we were limited. This is a old Easton again. This is a another stick personalized to Pat LaFontaine. I think this is Zygmunt Palfi. I got this one also with another stick, and I pulled it out of the shaft and kept the shaft. And this is uh, the curve. So Zygmunt Palfi, I think, signed it. This might be a guess. I could be wrong. It looks like a five, but it's probably a Z backwards. We don't know. I don't know how he signs Palfi. Doesn't, I have no idea. And the next one's uh, another Easton. The yellow's been painted by the company. This is a Iserman blade. Wooden blade, that's how it looks. So this one here is a... Uh, Worn down Fiber Plus, Easton Fiber Plus. This is no name, just Fiber Plus. No player name on it. First one I saw, well, besides the graphite. It's another senior Canadian. Canadian made blades too. Same as Coho, it's the same company. Just put a different uh, label on, same blade. Same structure. Here I got a Easton T-Flex blade. This is a T-Flex. means it's thinner on the top, fits tapered shaft, and this has been signed by Matthew Schneider. This one's brand new. And the, finally, the last one is a HMP Hespler. This is a Gretzky 2 Senior. This is obviously a re retail Gretzky. It's not a game-used or game-issued Gretzky. It's a retail stick. And that's how it looks. Brand new. This one's brand new. This one actually came here with, let's see, that shaft right there. That has blur had this blade on. And I took the blade out. So well, that's how that curve looks. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching my video.